Hi folks, I hope you're safe and well. This week we're looking at coastal processes, erosion, transportation and deposition. Please can you put that as your title. Please complete your do now. Please allow yourself five minutes to complete these questions. Please check your answers. It is very important that you check that you have written the right is right definition for questions one, two, three and four. So far, we have looked at the two types of coastal waves, constructive and destructive weathering and mass movement coastal processes and today we're looking at erosion, transportation and deposition. It is important to look at erosion so we can look in more detail next lesson at how landforms are created by erosion along the coastline. Our headlands, our bays, caves, arches and stacks and our wave cut platforms. First of all please can you review your knowledge from last week. Recapping, weathering and mass movement. I recommend you bullet point some notes as you're watching. Key definitions, please write this down. Erosion, the wearing away of the landscape. Transportation, the movement of eroded material. And deposition, the dropping of eroded material. Erosion, there are four types. You should know these. Hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition and solution. Please can you write out types of erosion and draw a picture to illustrate each process. Remember, hydraulic action, like a pressure washer. The power of the waves as they smash against the cliff. Air becomes trapped in the cracks in the rock and causes the rock to break apart. Abrasion. Our sandpaper effect, the pebbles grind along the rock platform. Attrition, rocks in the sea lock against each other. They break apart to become smaller and more rounded, like bashing together two bath bombs. Solution, this is when seawater dissolves certain types of rocks. Those acids in the sea will break down the chalk and the limestone. I've put a video on there which goes through these in more detail actually on a beach. Transportation. Again, four types. Please can you write these out and draw a picture to represent each one. Traction. The large peb boulders and pebbles are rolled along the seabed. Those arrows are really important. They show movement. Saltation, small stones and pebbles and silt bounce. They're picked up, dropped, picked up, dropped in that bouncing movement, like if you bounced a bouncy ball. Suspension, the fine material such as clay is carried by the sea. And then solution, dissolved minerals are carried by the sea. These processes, like the erosion ones, are exactly the same for rivers. They are very, very important. And again, I've attached a video for you to watch, which illustrate these in more detail. Longshore drift. You need to watch the video to add further detail. It is very important you are accurate in your drawing of these. In particular, the direction of the arrows and the angle of that swash and backwash. Watch the video so you can add more detail. Please check you haven't missed anything on your diagram. Particularly those definitions of swash and backwash. If you notice, the swash always goes in the same direction as the wind.
how to apply it. Explain how the process of longshore drift transports sediment along the coastline. Please, can you write that out? And annotate as I have. Because this is a process, you need to link your points in a sequence. First, what happens as a result because of this. Secondly, it needs to be in a logical order. Please allow yourself four minutes to answer this question. Please green pen your answer using the model answer. The transport of sand and pebbles on the coast is called longshore drift. The prevailing wind. Make sure you've put prevailing wind, not just wind. The direction the wind usually blows from causes waves to approach at an angle. The swash carries the sand and pebbles up the beach at the same angle usually 45 degrees. The backwash, however, carries the material back down the beach at right angles, 90 degrees, as this is the steepest gradient. If a pebble was placed in the water, it would be carried along the coastline in zigzag motion and would eventually be deposited, again another keyword, when the waves lose energy. The general direction of longshore drift is decided by the prevailing wind. For example, the prevailing wind is approaching from the southwest Therefore, longshore drift is moving material from west to east. Have you included the words longshore drift, prevailing wind, swash, backwash? Make sure you include a deposition, zigzag motion, the angles, and the example at the bottom is a bonus. Deposition, the dropping of eroded material. Please can you create a spy diagram summarising the key points. In the middle, I'd write deposition. And then I'd do arrows coming off about why deposition occurs. They have no longer emphasis for energy. Why? Four points coming off that point. And then I've put in two further reasons in more detail, gravity settling and fluctuation. Please remember to email me with your work and complete your Seneca and Educate assignments. Thank you.